And hello, it is Tuesday, Tuesday, January 19th of 2021. And my man cave is where old tech goes to die. All that and more today on Guy's Daily Drive. Boom. everyone this is guys daily drive and it has been it has been an exciting run-up to the show today um, if, if this is why you it, when you can you should watch it live or you should you can go back and watch the entire thing over there on Facebook um, there's been fire trucks and lights have been good and it's cold and all kinds of things are happening right now and I'm going to work and recording a live cast in my car while I do so because that's something I should be doing mm. okay so we were, were we're finally getting around to putting stuff away from Christmas or I should mostly my wife She's, she's the one that's like super organized about that stuff. And I usually just end up getting in the way and getting yelled at. So I, I typically just stay out of it. And it's like, if you need me to lift something, if you need me to put something away, come and tell me and I'll do so. But otherwise I just stay out of the way. And we've had to replace a lot of the boxes that we've had stuff in and some stuff has gotten ruined uh, because we had some some water leakage in the basement not a big amount but just enough and here comes another fire or something there he goes and he's gone <laughs> so what I had suggested to Tracy was that we, we go to Target or Walmart or Bed Bath & Beyond or one of those places and get some, because it was all in cardboard boxes. And when you have old cardboard boxes that get wet, they don't, they don't come back from that. New cardboard, sometimes. Old cardboard, never. Once old cardboard gets wet, it's barely good, even after it's dried, it's barely good enough to start a fire with. That's because it's ruined at that point. So she's got a bunch of stuff all piled up, ready to go in some bins once we get them. And just looking at all that stuff, this is stuff that we've had, you know, some of the stuff that she's had since before we were married. So it goes back, you know, 29 plus 30 plus years. And even the stuff that we've accumulated since we've gotten married. And, and I mean, just little things like Christmas letters. And for those of you who have gotten my Christmas cards, I didn't put one out this year. Um, I almost always include a little newsy family thing where, you know, we let you know what's going on, what the kids are doing, you know, how the pets are. And there was a bunch of them in there, not for every year. A lot of them I still have saved because I make them in Apple Pages. So I still have them in iCloud, which is good because that means that, you know, they're saved for posterity or something. Anybody wants to read that stuff. Well, I like to read that stuff. So We went through some of the ones that we had, and some of them predate doing it on computer. I mean, some of it was just typed and then copied. And we picked out the ones that weren't too bad. You know, always saved at least one, no matter the condition. And that made me go into the man cave. And you knew I was going to get there eventually. Go into the man cave. Boy, look how bright that sun is. 
and start looking at the stuff that I have. Is this gonna work? I'm trying to put something over here. There we go. Some of the stuff that I have in the man cave that it's just sitting there. And a lot of it is at this point just junk. You know, it's stuff like there's a, um, I think it's from a company called Henke. It's a MacBook Pro stand. And you basically, you, you drop it in and it matches up with all the ports of that year's MacBook Pro, which I think was 2013, 2014. Tracy was using it. And you can just have all of your cables. I mean, it was kind of a cool device. You have all your cables go to the dock. And then when you want to take your, your MacBook Pro and take it someplace else, you just remove it from the dock. All those cables stay connected so you don't have to go through the hell of, of okay, this cable goes here, this cable goes there. Oh, no, that cable fell behind the desk, blah, 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 blah. You don't have to worry about that with this empty dock. Well, we don't have that MacBook Pro anymore, so it's just useless. But it cost a fair amount of money, so there it sits. I've got a ton of external drive enclosures. Some of them would, would drive still in it that are limited to the size of the hard drive that you can put in it. And frankly, at this point, you know, who who is still using 500 gig and one terabyte spindle hard drives? Now, I get it with SSDs, because those are a bit more expensive. But very few people are still using spindle hard drives. Not even talking about ones that are that small. So one of the things I had done, I had gone out and I'd gotten this, this little kit that you can connect an IDE drive to. It's got a USB out, so then you just connect it to your computer and you can see what data is on that drive. Raw. It's not in an enclosure. It's not in a computer. It's just out. And you don't want to wait a real long time for doing that because drives that aren't in use, just because they're not in, they're not in use doesn't mean that they won't go bad for various reasons. But, you know, that's, that's some of the stuff that I've got down there. I've got um, old backpacks that I don't use anymore. I've got a ton of Firewire cables. I will never, ever, 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 ever need to use Firewire cables again. It is dead technology. So, you know, what, what I really need to do, and I've done this with, like, my clothes, is go through a, a cleansing. You just pick a box, any box. Go through that box, pull out the stuff that is good, that might be used, and regardless of how much it costs when you bought it, throw away the stuff that you can't use anymore. Or let people know that you have stuff that you can't use anymore and see if they want it. I don't mind giving this stuff away to someone else. I, I'm not going to charge them for it. But at the same time, I want it out of the house. And if it's not out within a reasonable amount of time after I've decided that, that I can't use it anymore, then I'm going to recycle it or throw it away. And I've got a whole room like this. That, that's basically just in one room. Tracy has stuff like that all over the house. <laughs> that's, that's a whole nother, yeah, that's a whole nother issue. And the funny thing is, anytime I broach this subject, 
Tracy will come and say, well, what about those two old computers in the closet? And it's like, they're in a closet. They're not taking up that much room. They're not in the way. They're in a closet. But all of this other stuff that you have, that you're never going to get to, let's get rid of that. But we can't because it has sentimental value or she just doesn't want to get rid of it. But she always plays that deflection game where it's like, it's not my stuff that's the problem. It's your stuff that's the problem. It's like, no, I, I, you know, I, I grant you, I have junk to, to get rid of. I certainly do. But that doesn't mean that you don't too. So that's, that's the game. That's the game that you have to play. Especially when you've been you've been married for a long time and especially if you've been in the same place for a long time moving when you move that typically forces the issue where it's like okay do we want to drag this stuff to the new place and nine times out of ten it's like no you don't you don't want to drag that stuff to the new place. So you try not to. Anyway, that is going to do it for today's Guy's Daily Drive. Thank you all so very, very much for tuning in and, and whether you're watching it live or listening to it later on or watching it later on, I appreciate the fact that you have taken the time to visit my little area of insanity and join me on my join me on my journey yeah because it's such a journey journey of it's a voyage of discovery and intrigue yeah not so much anyway if you'd like to get a hold of me and tell me about your voyage or journey of discovery and intrigue you can send me an email guy at mymac.com you can find me on the Twitters if you just want to shoot me a little missive and that would be Mac Parrot over on the Twitters or Vert Shark and I'm paying attention to traffic here at the moment okay good um, let's see what else vertshark.com is the website. Yes, indeed. It is the website. And if you'd like to help me with my expenses and doing all this stuff, patreon.com forward slash MacParrot coffee ko f i forward slash MacParrot or PayPal at paypal.me forward slash MacParrot is a theme. See the theme? It's a good theme. Um, if you go over to YouTube and you do a search for Vert Shark, all of my all of my tagged videos over there will come up. And while you are there, you can smash that notification bell and then like, share, subscribe. Did you see it? Like, share, subscribe. So easy. There's nothing to it. You know. And you don't even have to like or share. Just hit, hit subscribe. And then hit the notification bell. And then like and share. Do all those things. It takes no time. And, whoa, a lot more traffic than I'm used to. Dana's going to do it for today. Again, thank you all so very, very much. And I will see all of you next time right here on Guy's Daily Drive. Bye-bye.